Hey, what's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another Addicted Fishing video. Today, we're super excited. We're bringing you episode two of the East Side Grind Springer Series. If you guys didn't know, this is TJ Hester. He's one of our guides on the east side of Washington. He filmed, edited, did everything with this little mini series of their Spring Chinook season over on the east side of Washington. Stay tuned, some epic fishing coming up next. It's the uh, morning of day two, and uh, four ten slept in just a little bit. You know, hit the snooze twice, and yeah, the line's already at the highway. I forgot how much I love this place in the morning. There's, like I said, it doesn't get light until like almost five thirty. It's four ten, and the parking lot is almost completely full. And it's only Thursday, so imagine what Saturday is going to be like. This is great. I'm, I'm having so much fun already. I miss this place. This is great. You guys can see this on the camera but there they put a camera in right there for going over the line and somehow the only person on the lake that discovered that <laughs> was the not guy going i see big <laughs> <laughs> guys go to seven on the line counter and grab your lead Guys, seven on the line counter and grab your lead. Treat me. Hold this. Please no one step on this rod. Up. Don't reel down Big lift. Oh. Time out. Let's see your drag again. What's going on here? 
loose. Ooh. How's that for a stab? <laughs> Alright, stop. Wild, of course. Dang it, gotta throw that one back. Ugh, what are the odds? Wild. Dude, we only get like two a year. Dang it! Well, sorry man. Nice job though. Woke up. How are you feeling now? Uh, you know. Think he's gonna nap we'll until the next day. Still pretty sick. <laughs> didn't that wasn't the cure? No. Shot of adrenaline didn't do it, huh? Tell you what, you sprung to life though. Well, Jacob, you're like, I'm oh, fine, get away from my mole! Get away! <laughs> we were talking about which one of us was gonna roll you away from the pole when it happened. <laughs> Hey, pup! I think it's freed up. Reel up, guys. Yeah, nope, don't set the hook. Keep reeling. Keep it tight. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Nice and easy. Oh, big. Don't thumb it. A oh, big no. lift. Reel down a big lift. Oh, don't walk backwards. There you go. Big lift. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rod away. Hold on, I'm trying. Hold on. You're good. Keep your rod to the right if you can. There you go. Oh, we're tangled up with him. Yep. Yeah. Yep, bring him up, guys. Thanks, Jack. Okay, so see your dragon. There you go. Start bringing in their line. Thank you. Oh, you so, lost him. Keep reeling. No, no, no. Lost his line. Oh, okay. Keep your rod to the left. Hey, sorry about that. Yep, you're good. Yep, perfect. Keep it right away from the boat a little bit. Right there, perfect. I know, a lot of rolls. Oh, I'm going to loosen that back up. Really that big lift, big lift. There we go. Oh, Keeper. Nice. Hold on, guys. Let's get out of these guys' way. Make sure your gear is up, guys. Give me a chest bump. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Since this is done as bleeding, we'll throw it into the green bag here and throw it on ice. And then let's use gravity a little bit. Just like that. Look at that. It's a little barbaric. That's awesome, man. First springer. Is that first salmon or just first springer? No, no, first springer. Sweet, how'd it feel? That was awesome. That little, was freaking cool. A little Definitely. more pressure than fall salmon? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Go get back into the chaos. Yeah. Our plan initially was to kind of fish this for a little bit to make a move in the afternoon, but I think we're going to stay. What do you think? Yeah. It ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Plan B, it uh, 
Got a little breezy, didn't see very many other fish caught. Uh, so, we're gonna go down to a different spot. We'll see this. Week. And what's the verdict? Whoa. They exist! Woo. Well, midday update, what you got? I feel a lot better about myself, you know? Finally got one in the box. I thought I was doomed. I was going to be scrubbing every inch of this boat this <laughs> afternoon, but got one. How'd you do? We have one wild one keeper and nothing since the uh, the first couple bites. But it sounds like it hasn't really been going with the other location either. Yeah, but this spot's way better with wind. Yeah, for sure. That's Gosh. We'll keep uh, grinding at it. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Kind of keep you guys updated. Um, it's kind of this, it's a marathon, you know, we're just, right now we're just planning on hopefully uh, a pod comes in and get a couple more and if we get one more fish, I'll be pretty stoked. I'm, I'm happy I'm with two. I'm good with today. I'm, I'm fine with today. I can go back and have a perfect, perfect reunion. There you go. There you have it. We'll keep it updated. Ooh, alright. Lunchtime. Honey wheat. Honey wheat. Yep. Dang, I should have grabbed my glasses. Uh, Go get him. I've seen him in there. I don't need him. I'll take a hike for Take a hike. My guys went to go get food like a half hour ago. I don't know where they went. They're gone. I think I got abandoned. He's got a couple bass rods. I'm going to go around the lake. You know, true Eastside grinder always keeps his, his poles with him. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not. But that's an island right there. And that little thing is a boat. Like, how many yards up there on that thing is that? Well, he's up there quite a ways. The, uh, the story goes, well, a buddy of us, of ours called and kind of told us what happened. I don't have the complete story, so I'm not going to reiterate it, but I guess it was wild and it involved a guy jumping out of his boat. There it is. Round two? Round two. There you go. Two more to go. Alright guys, so back at salmon camp. In case you're wondering, I didn't go with the tacos. I want I want the safe route. Tomorrow we'll probably do tacos. But kind of a recap of the day. Uh just got out patterned, you know. We uh we thought Every time I do this talk, a car goes by. So we thought we had a pattern pretty well figured out for what we wanted to do this year. And it just didn't pan out. You know, the afternoon bite wasn't there for us, was for a couple other boats, but this way it is. You know, I'm still happy with two fish. Wish they were both keepers, but it is what it is. Uh, not much else to really say about it, but I'm exhausted today. Uh, I'm gonna go and do some video stuff and maybe get the drone up for some other cool shots and go watch addicted fishing on youtube and probably call her pretty early tonight and check in with tyler he's out there still well got a call from tyler stayed in the river so that's the update for you i'm going back to bed see you guys in the morning for day three